Now, as you can see, what I've done to start this question off is I've drawn a sketch, and I'd always recommend you draw a sketch for something like this. We've got the horizontal straight road, and we've got the post PQ and R marked on at distances PQ 45 meters and QR is 120 meters. And what I've done is I've put in the time that the car passes Q at two seconds, and at R, remember it was four seconds later, so T is going to be now equal to six. We've got that the speed that the car passes through P is U, and because it's going at a constant acceleration A, this is going to be the same acceleration over any of these intervals. Now if we're to find the value of U and A, then what we need to do is to consider these sections. And what I'm going to do is consider the section PQ. So if we do that, we'll just put this down that we're going to consider PQ. Now, in this section here, what have we got? Well, we've got U, and we've got the time it takes. It's two seconds, so we'll say that T is two. We know the displacement S is 45, and we've got the acceleration A. Well, I say we've got these. We've kind of got them. We've got to find them. So what we need is an equation that contains these letters. And what we can use is the equation S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And that means that if we substitute into here, what we're going to get is for S, we've got the 45 equals U times T. So that's going to be U times 2 or 2U. And then we've got plus a half times A times T squared. So that's going to be 2 squared. And if I simplify this, what we've got is 45 equals 2u, and then we've got 4 here. Half of 4 is 2, so we've got plus 2a. And what I'm going to do is just call that equation 1. We can't solve it because we've got two unknowns in it. So obviously we're going to need another equation involving u and a. So where do we turn to for this? Well. It's no good considering section QR because we don't really have the initial velocity here and we don't really have the final velocity, but we could actually consider all of PR. So that's what we're going to do next. So we'll just say here consider the section P to R and we'll just divide that off there. Now if we consider the section PR, again we've got the initial velocity, which was u. We know the time. It was 6 seconds. We know the displacement s. It is 45 plus 120. So in other words, 165 meters. And a we can use in the equation. And that equation, again, is going to be s equals ut plus a half at squared. So if we use that equation, I'll just write it again up here, s equals ut plus a half at squared, then what we're going to have is 165 equals u, which we know is, well we don't know u, sorry, but we know t, so we've got u times 6, so that's 6u, and then we've got plus a half times a times t squared, so that's a times 6 squared. Just squeeze that in there. Clean this up. What do we have? Well, we therefore have 165 equals 6u, and then we've got 36 here for 6 squared, half of 6 squared, that's going to be 18, so plus 18a. Now, we could divide through by 3 here, and if we do divide by 3, 165 divided by 3 is 55, and then we get 6u divided by 3 is 2u, and then 18a divided by 3 is going to be 6a. And 
that be my second equation, number two. So we have two simultaneous equations then, and we should be able to solve these. So what I'm going to do now is, because the terms in u are the same, 2u, 2u, what I'm going to do is equation 2 minus equation 1. So if we do that, what we get is going to be 55 take away the 45, which is obviously 10, so we therefore have 10 equals, and then we've got 6a minus the 2a, which is 4a. And if you divide both sides by 4, a would equal 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5, two 2.5 and two and metres per second per second. For u, all we've got to do then is just substitute the value of a, let's just say down here, substitute a equals 2.5, into either equation 1 or equation 2. I'm going to choose number 1, so we'll say sub in equation 1, and what we've got is 45 then equals 2u plus 2 times a at 2.5. Work this out and you've got 45 equals 2u plus 5. Take 5 from both sides, you've got 2u equals 40. And so therefore, if you divide by 2, you end up with u equaling 20. So basically, we have got our values of u and a. u being 20, a being 2.5 meters per second. This was the answer to part 1. This was the answer to part 2. OK, well, this brings us now to the end of this question. And I hope you're able to follow that.